Hi guys, Rachel here from Set and Flow. Welcome to your bikini total body circuit. So if you have dumbbells and you want to use them, that's what we're going to use today. If not, don't worry, you can still do this whole workout without any weights. Um, all the drills are going to be 30 seconds. Again, just to keep it simple, you can always do multiple rounds or just make each of your drills longer, 45 seconds or maybe a minute. So we're going to get started with dumbbells, left foot's gonna go forward, right leg is gonna step straight back. So now you're in your reverse lunge and then you're gonna stay low and just step to the side, slightly turning the body. So I'm gonna press through the left foot and then squeeze inner thighs, spiraling in and up and that should help with balance. You wanna keep your elbows in really tight to the body and then just stepping straight back and then turning slightly to the side. You wanna stay nice and low Front knee is stacked over the ankle for five, four, three, two, last one. Just lengthen both of the legs, pull the dumbbells to your hips, just the right arm. We're gonna take a rotational row. So you're gonna send the fist forward, palm down, and then turn it, palm faces over to the left, bringing the dumbbell back to the hip. So I'm just using that rotation through the forearm all the way down to the fist, turning, Coordinating, obviously. Last five, four, three, two, last one. Step the feet together. We're gonna take side lateral lunging with a twist. So right leg is gonna step out wide. I'm gonna reach forward, bending the right knee. Reach low on the left. Reach forward and then twist high on the left side. So forward, down. Forward, twist. And then you wanna keep the legs wide pushing off the right foot as you stand up and twist to the left, opening up the hips. So it's a lot of legs, a lot of core. You want to keep the belly pulled in for five, four, three, two, last one. Just turn left toes, open up, find your warrior two. From here, just turn the palms up, palms down, you're going to press through the knife edge of the back right foot, turning it in slightly, hip stacked, shoulder stacked, for five, four, three, two, last one. Bring hands back to center, pivot, plant your weights down, hands to the floor, step back, you're going to lower all the way down onto your belly. From the belly, first round, you can stay on the knees, hands up. Push the floor, and then just lower. Hands up every time. So you're lowering all the way back down, and then using the back, keeping the body tight, one piece, pushing away. More advanced, you can take this in your plank. So from the floor, you're gonna tighten up the legs even more. Push straight to your plank, lower back to the belly. For five, four, three, two, Last one, drop your knees, lower to your forearms. So you want the forearms, uh, shoulder distance, palms can press flat, shoulders over the elbow, walk the feet back, find your forearm plank. You can hold here and then just breathe. Or the right leg, top of the foot, pointing the toe, center and side. So it's like you're drawing a rainbow with the top of the right foot, with the toe, so you have to squeeze the glute, keep the hips and shoulders square, lower body quiet, and then just keep the gaze in between the hands towards the top of the mat. Lower body super tight for five, four, three, two, last one. Drop the knees, come back to the palms, tuck the toes, downward facing dog, just pedal the knees, Bend right, bend left, pressing palms into the mat. Look forward, jump or walk. Feet can go in between the hands. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, take forward fold. Bend your knees, grab your dumbbells. Stand all the way up. We're going to go on the other side. So this time right leg is forward, elbows in, weight shoulder height. Stepping the left leg back, so you're going to go straight back, reverse, and then just step to the side. So again, you want to stay low, and you're not standing up all the way on this one. So really burning the legs. 
Again, pressing through the right foot, right heel. That'll help with your balance. You wanna stay grounded. Chest is up, shoulders down. And then it's almost like you're leaning back so that you have that feeling of stacking the shoulders over the hips for four, three, two. Last one, just straighten the legs, bring dumbbells to the hips and left hand only. So again, just staying grounded through the feet. If you need to put the back heel down, you can, but it's gonna be a little bit more challenging to keep it lifted. We're crying a little bit more balance. Knuckle forward, turning palm down to the side for five, four, three, two. Last one, step the feet together. Now left leg out to the side. We're gonna just switch the sides. So I'm gonna reach forward on the left, down on the right, forward on the left, pivot and reach tall on the right side. Forward, down, forward, twist. So maybe this side you can stay a little bit lower as you transition in your side lateral lunges for five, four, three, two. Last one, step it back. This time just turn the right toes. Warrior two, open up the arms. This time turn both palms up. Just basic bicep curls. So you want to keep the elbow shoulder height and then squeeze the bicep to bring the dumbbells in. Just a short round here mainly for transition, five, four, three, two, last one. Bring hands back to center, pivot, plant your weights, palms down, step back, lower all the way down onto the belly. This time we're gonna add a reach. So you can keep the toes tucked, we'll start on the knees, pushing straight up, reach, reach right arm forward, palm down, lower back to the belly, reset, push. So the hard part is going to keep, is be keeping the shoulders and hips square as you reach the arm up. The tendency is going to be to want to turn. So you're going to keep everything facing down. And then if you're looking for a little bit more, more advanced, you're going to take it in your plank. So from the belly, push, reach for five, four, three, two, last one. Come back to the knees. Lower to the forearms. We have one last drill. Walk the feet back, find your forearm plank. You can hold here, just squeezing the body tight, or this time, left leg, top of the foot down, rainbow, center, and side. So this right heel is gonna stay lifted, and you're gonna keep that leg super tight, squeezing the lower body, pushing the floor away, Shoulders over the elbows, press through the forearms, the palms for five, four, three, two. Last one, drop it down to the knees, send the hips back, take your child's pose, knees wide, toes touch. Big breath in, exhale out, walk it back up. Thank you guys so much for joining me. See you next time.